What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to show you how to SSH from Cursor. Let's get to it. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I was having a really hard time trying to figure out a solution to this answer. And I finally came across a blog post, which I'll show you uh, later in the video, where I got it and something that helped me. So let's start from a blank slate and let's do a RM dash rf remove ssh this is on my local machine so there we go and then we're going to ssh into my remote server we're going to say yes and then we're going to type in the password okay so i am in my uh remote server now we're going to clear it then i'm going to copy the code we're going to do the same thing in this one. Uh, just because it doesn't glob. Uh, there we go. Okay. So if we open up another uh, iTerm, let's open up a new window default. Sure. There we go. Okay. So we're back on my local machine, right? And clear it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to generate some keys. Here is the email that I'm going to be using. So ssh-keygen-trsa-b4096. Uh, dash C and then my email. So that's going to be my user. Generating the public key. I want it to save to this file. That's fine by default. And if you want to uh, set a specific password for these keys, you can do so. So if anybody gets a hold of your ID RSAs, uh, you have a extra layer of protection here. I'm going to go ahead and press enter for the sake of the video. All right. Then this key gen uh, got created. Going to hit clear. Next, what we're going to do is we need to copy the public key to the remote server. You could do that by running this command right here. So ssh-copy-id-id, -id, or i, and then give it the uh, public key, and then you're going to ssh into your, uh, you're going to copy that into your remote server. Run it. Okay, it's going to ask, do you trust this? We're going to say yes. You're going to put in the password to your remote server. Okay, cool. And then it's saying uh, SSH to confirm. I'm going to copy, paste. Oops, make sure it's not in uh, quotation. Run it. Cool. And just like that, we uh, identified ourselves through that uh, public key and it matched. So we are in our uh, remote server, just like that, right? So that's half of it. Cleared the um, screen there. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, do chmod on the SSH so we can have a, we can save the, uh, our keys as authorized. So what we're going to do is chmod 700. Save it to the SSH folder. So read write uh, privileges and do the same thing for authorized keys. So it can read those in. It closed that connection. So we are back into our local machine. As you can see, clear it. Now what we're going to do is we are in our local machine. We're going to do, you could open this up in cursor or I'm going to do it in nano. So we're going to do open our config file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code. And this is very specific. Specific. You're going to have host. And then this could be whatever, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm on a uh, remote SSHing into an Ubuntu machine. So this is the host name. This is the user that I'm going to be as. This is the file that I'm indicating that uh, this is my private key. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and identify me. So we're going to do control O enter to save and then exit control X to get out. Okay. Once we've done that, 
we now need to add the SSH, the key to the SSH agent. So you can do this by doing eval. I'm on fish. So if you're on bash, it might be a little bit different, but you can just uh, go to ChatGPT, say, make this into um, bash equivalent code. Press enter. Okay. Should say your agent PID. And then uh, we're going to copy, we're going to add this SSH key to the agent by doing identity added. And this is what you should get. This is all on your local machine, remember? And you can verify this. Now you can SSH via the alias Ubuntu Ted. And then it's going to propagate all that information in from the um, config file. And there you go. Okay. So that's half of it. We just got the regular SSH, right? This is coming only from the terminal. How do I do it from cursor? So control L to clear it. I found a cool blog post it's right here. Uh, get it there. And I'll share it. So it's in the forums. And then what about installing open remote SSH? Okay. Well, what we did was. We clicked it, all right? This is what we're looking for. So we're gonna download it. I'm gonna go to my download folder. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open. So here it is. And then let's open up a cursor instance. Uh, let's just, uh, can we just open it one? Okay, it's over here. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Let's pop it over in this desktop. Sorry. There it is. Okay. So this is the local machine SSH uh config file and or well folder directory and you can see this is what i put into the uh when i did nano right so i close that first off what you need is you need to remove anything that says remote hopefully this does this sometimes the marketplace doesn't work quite well so you need to remove anything of these so it's not on your machine okay and then you go back to this finder, right? And then you're going to drag this guy into there. It's installing the extension. Go ahead and close this. Okay. And now this allows for SSH into uh, a remote machine from cursor. Okay, so what we can do now is we need to go to open remote, right? And then uh, let's go ahead and do it on this machine. And then we're going to type in our, um, what we had. So Ted at, what was it? 192.168.0.1. Um, so. Disconnect. Close remote connection. Open with SSH. There it is. Sorry. So you have to, since you've already uh, gotten your config file, this is all that is doing is it's reading from this config file. So this Ubuntu TED is essentially, if it'll let me go, well, it's that config file. So when I click that now, what it's doing is it's setting up this host, it's reading that config file, and we should have our terminal pop open here. So now this is from my remote server. If you're interested in tutorials and videos that show you how to do things that aren't well documented, give a like, subscribe, comment down below videos that you want to see me do or problems that you've had, and I'll post a solution to it. 
All right. Peace.